Hi, I'm Mike with Dead Air, and I want to make just a fun little kind of a chemo explanation video. I'll show you kind of the cool things it does. It only goes on one way, which most everyone already understands that. It's tick. This is obviously a break, so it's timed. So if you have a flash hider that's not timed, you can just simply find that. But the tighter that you tighten it down, the tighter that it will pull that taper and the tighter it'll stay on. So if you want to really get hardcore with it, you can, you can cinch that thing up and really put it on there. One thing that's kind of cool about it, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but if you can see the lugs there, if you want to check to see if it's tight on your muzzle, the collar and the can will always move together. So if you just say it's super hot and you look there, you can see that those lugs are not laying against the stops and you'll know that it needs to be tightened up a little bit more. Another thing that kind of a cool engineering feature into this mount, it doesn't get carbon locked per se. I mean, anything can happen, but if it gets on there and gets stuck and you can't get the can off, you can come at it with a crescent wrench or I'm going to use these smooth jaw pliers for this. Without moving the can, with leaving it tight against the taper, I'm going to unhook the mount. Now that I've done that, it'll be all loose. And that's how you remove it in the event that it's too tight or it gets a little locked on. The next thing we kind of want to look at here is to take this mount off. So no tools. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this stop down and then I'm going to back the locking collar off. Now I'll just, I'll do that a couple times. And I'll have that off. There's only three parts to it. All, this The spring goes either way, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is make sure that the you've got a notch that you're going to line up here. Just make sure that the stop is facing upward. Drop the detent plate down on. Put the locking collar back on. One thing I see people do from time to time is I'm going to show you, I'm not going to put it on tight enough. So, once, if you've done that and it's not quite tight enough, it will not go tight to the rifle, right, to the mount. So what you want to do there is, you're going to tighten this down. Now the way that you can tell if it's tight is, it's correctly on now you'll never pull it down and get it to pass again so I'm going to put it back to the unlock position I'll stick it back on and wham it gets tight so there you go you can take your mount apart you can get it off if it's too tight for you to get it off there's a little trick to break it free you let me know if you have any other questions with that and I'll answer it thank you